there are a lot of myths in our politics, a lot of legends. Here's, here is one of the most predominant myths today. That on January 6th, a day that will live in infamy on January 6th, the terrorist insurrectionists almost conquered the United States. Thomas Conover. Remember that name, Thomas Conover of Texas. He was one of the insurrectionists from January 6th. So he's on trial now. And their well, uh, evidence from his trial is now coming out. Photographs of him that day. Photographs of him smiling, thumbs up, sipping a Coors Light. Yes, that's right. Remember that face. Remember that face of that terrorist. The me- that, that lager sipping monster who nearly brought the global hegemon to its knees. Does he, if you're watching this right now, does this guy look like the kind of person who's going to bring the world's superpower crumbling down? Or does he look like a, a sort of excited and eccentric political activist who made it into the Capitol, was, was up to such surreptitious, sedition, s- seditious activities that he was taking photos, sipping his Coors Light, and then he sort of left. He's been charged. He's been charged, not with drinking watered-down beer. He's been charged with four misdemeanors, including entering restricted grounds, disorderly conduct, and unlawful protest in the Capitol. He has not yet entered a plea. Christmas is right around the corner, and you deserve a gift. And even if you don't deserve a gift, well, it's the time for giving and charity. And so, you know, you, you should get one anyway. How about a gift that keeps on giving you joy and comfort every day, all year long? A gift that looks as good as it feels, a gift that will actually pay for itself in terms of how much more productive you will be at work. I'm talking about giving yourself the gift of an X chair. I love my X chair. The X chair is the most incredible piece of furniture in this office. <laughs> okay, it's this amazing thing. It's super cool and modern looking. It uh, it's very comfortable. It keeps your posture very nice. It it will massage you. It will either cool you down or warm you up. It is if you want to get a massage in the office and not worry about an HR violation, uh, check out X Chair today. Here is X Chair's Christmas gift for you. Save $100 off your X Chair by purchasing it at xchairnoles.com right now. That is X, the letter X, chair, Knowles, K-N-W-L-E-S, dot com. X Chair has a 30-day guarantee of complete comfort. You can finance your purchase for as little as 30 bucks a month. Go right now to xchairnoles.com and save xchairnoles.com. The libs did not want us to see these photos. The libs wanted us to believe that this was a well-organized terrorist group that went in armed to the hilt. They weren't armed, by the way, but that that they were armed to the hilt and they were killing people and killing cops and taking over the country. Didn't happen. The only person who was killed in the political violence was one of the right-wingers, was Ashley Babbitt, who was killed by a cop. Air, Air Force veteran Ashley Babbitt. They didn't want us to see these photos because the photos contradict the narrative. You can't look at these photos and say this was the insurrection to take down the country. It wasn't. Might have been eccentric people. Might have been disorderly. Maybe they deserve to be charged with these misdemeanors or whatever. You know what they don't deserve? To be thrown in solitary confinement for months and months on end. You know what they don't deserve? To be called traitors and seditionists and terrorists. Because they manifestly are not those things. So the best they've got Disorderly conduct, unlawful protest in the Capitol. How many libs have done that in just the last five, 10 years? How many times has there been some group of crazy libs, whether it was the pink shirt ladies or the pink hat ladies or what the left wingers breaking and screaming, interrupting Senate testimony and breaking into the, how many times has that happened? Countless times, just in my own life. But, but they face very few consequences, if any. And then the conservatives who do it, the right-wingers who do it, get the book thrown at them. This is what is so wrong about what's going on with January 6th. Is it's not that the, the January 6th people didn't do anything wrong. I guess it's probably not legal to sip a Coors outside, right? That's probably not legal either. It's not that, that it's completely innocent people in on completely made-up charges. It's that it's people who are in on extremely trumped-up charges, That's why they're the nearest thing to political dissidents that we have in the United States. 
and the libs have to keep up this narrative that their guy, when their guys burn down the country for six months, that's good. They're mostly peaceful protesters. And when a dude shows up sipping a Coors Light, taking pictures in the Capitol Rotunda, he's a terrorist who should be sent to Guantanamo Bay. I am really glad you like that clip. I am. I, I could not be, I could be happier. Here's how I could be happier. Ring the bell, please. I would appreciate it. If you ring the bell, you get the notifications. You should also go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, wherever you get your audio podcast. You can type in The Michael Knowles Show, subscribe, maybe leave a five-star review if you wouldn't mind. And I'll see you next time.